everyone. Today I have another video for y'all. It is a photography based video specifically targeted towards uh, younger photographers who don't already have a business established. So you probably click this video because of the title. Um, if you're looking to start up a photography business to finally start making some money with your photography, maybe you've gotten a few lenses and you think you could turn this into a little side business, uh, I highly recommend staying through this video because I have some amazing tips, some amazing ideas for y'all. Um, so yeah, let's get started into this video. Uh, and I do apologize if I look down on my phone, I have all my tips and ideas listed here. So yeah, let's get straight into the video. All right, so the number one thing I want you to know is you need to be able to deal with rejection. That is a number one priority. Uh, oftentimes when you're doing cold calls or asking clients if you can take their photos, they will say no. Not everyone wants their photo taken. They don't need their photo taken. You know, they just, they just say no. And that's nothing wrong with that. Don't take it personally. They just don't need their photo taken. And uh, you just move on to the next person. It's It may be hard at first say, uh, being told no, but uh, after a few no's, you get used to it. And then when you finally get the yes, it feels amazing. All right, now another thing is I want you guys to make a website and an Instagram specifically for your photos. Uh, also the website for your photos. Um, just put up some sample photos that you've taken. They need to be high quality. Uh, make it separate from your main Instagram account because no one wants to see you and your friends like hiking a mountain or like traveling through the river or traveling through the river, like at prom or whatever. Yeah, you need to make a separate photo account just specifically for your photos. That is your business name as well. And then you can link it in your main Instagram account to start gaining some followers. Um, and so people know you have a photography service going on. And for the website, I recommend using WordPress. It's super simple, super easy. Uh, just get like a, a blank design and start putting your photos up on there and then listing some of the services you have, a little bit of background information, some of your equipment. Um, and even though many people aren't gonna look at your website, it still shows that you have a website and that you mean business. And for WordPress, the WordPress name is in your domain, but then you can pay money to remove it and have an actual domain name for Google. And once you start making money, then you can finally update that and get that going. And then another thing, you need to have a decent camera. And by decent, I don't mean you need to have the latest and greatest like, um, like Canon, mark whatever that's out now i don't i have no idea you don't want to be taking photos with your iphone is what i'm saying you don't want to show up to a photo shoot and you're just taking photos on your iphone that is so unprofessional the photos are not going to turn out the way you want it um yeah you, you all you need is like you could even have like a rebel t2i this came out in like 2010 2011 um and as long as you have a good lens like a 50 millimeter lens if you're gonna start up a business have a 50 millimeter lens they're super cheap i think like 50 bucks on ebay 100 something new yeah you need a 50 millimeter lens because it is called the nifty 50 for a reason the background blur is amazing especially for four portraits and full body shots which is the main business ideas we have going here yeah it's super cheap and all you need a cheap camera cheap lens and you're good to go okay now let's get straight into the business ideas i have three for y'all today the first one is a an idea targeted mainly towards younger audiences so if you're in high school or in college prom formal senior photos now this is super easy because you already have a huge client base that is your high school because everyone wants their senior photos to look amazing everyone wants their prom photos to look amazing and you have a service that allows that to happen now it's really easy to charge and, in, and since you're in high school, I wouldn't charge the normal like $100 an hour rate uh, for a professional photographer, but you could charge something like $50 for a photo shoot. And it's relatively low stress because they're high school, it's not that demanding. And then you just, you can edit them like just a tiny bit, even on like the standard iPhone, like photo editor app, just get the colors to look right. And the, the seniors will be happy with it because it is on a nice camera. But yeah, also it's really nice to get group shots done, so especially for prom. You can charge like 20 bucks a person for the photographer. Um, that is being you and then you can have like an hour's worth of work and if you have like eight people I said that's like 240 bucks, right? You can make like 240 bucks for an hour's of work um, And then with that one I wouldn't charge an editing fee just because they're high schoolers they're not like, gonna want to pay a lot of money Yeah, it's an in-demand service as well. Uh, like I said earlier everyone wants these photos done and you can give them to them So yeah, that's the first idea. That's the easiest one and most reliable one if you're in school Next one I have is LinkedIn photos. This applies to all ages of people wanting to set up a photography business. You have a large adult consumer base. Um, you can ask your parents if they know anybody that needs their profile photos taken. Uh, even college students looking for internships need their LinkedIn profiles to look nice. Um, and a lot of LinkedIn profile photos are really, really old, like 10 years old, six years old. And by that point, a lot of the people's photos just don't look like themselves anymore. They're grainy, they're like terrible quality. Uh, and you can you can change that for them. And a lot of adults want these photos taken because they want to up their professionalism, especially in the adult world, that matters a lot. Uh, and you can charge like $100 for a photo shoot with editing. And at max, this is gonna be like 
30, 45 minutes once you get there because you're taking like probably 30, 40 photos and then sending them back six to 10 edited ones. And you can do this outside at a park, uh, which is great because a lot of times you have like the green trees in the background with the 50 millimeter like bokeh. It looks really nice for a profile photo. Or you can buy a cheap, I'm forgetting the name right now, but it's like the stilts and you can have like a white backdrop and you can buy a cheap studio light that provides a lot of light. I think there's like this thing called Loom Cube. Those are really, really nice for these. They're like 80 bucks. They attach to your camera. It looks great. Um, and it's better than just flash because it's, it's not as harsh as like a flashlight. It doesn't create those like contrasting shadows and everything. So I highly recommend one of those. I'm running out of breath. I'm, I'm excited about this. Uh, yeah, it's an in-demand service as well, like I said. And if you're worried about having a portfolio of photos to show your potential clients, take photos of your parents, take photos of your friends, have them dress up in a suit or a like Oxford with a, um, with a tie uh, and just take some practice photos, make sure they look good. And then you have a portfolio to show your clients to know that you're the real deal. Moving on to the last one, this is for the brave souls out there. It is product photography. I got this idea from Northern Borders. It's a YouTube channel uh, based based somewhere, I, it's of course it's based somewhere, I don't know where it's at, but it's really cool. Um, he does a series where he just goes and cold calls, like walks into these businesses and asks if they need, ask if they need photos done. Uh, so yeah, that's basically what you're gonna be doing. A lot of mom and pop shops, really, I wouldn't walk into corporate businesses because they have marketing and everything, but a lot of these smaller mom and pop shops, especially like cafes, boutiques, um, restaurants, they need photos done for their menu, for their marketing, and all it takes is to walk in with your camera and I don't know if I talked about having business cards. You need to have business cards. Um, yeah, I'm gonna interrupt right here. Make sure you have business cards. On Vistaprint, you can order 100 for 15 or 500 for like 40 bucks with gloss, double-sided, full color. Make sure you have business cards with your email, your phone number, uh, the business name, your name, uh, and some more contact information because that ups your professionalism a lot. It gives your clients a number to call back to and it allows them to share your name and your business with other people because you have because they now have your business card. So walk into these restaurants, give them your business card, have your camera with you, know that you want them to know that you're the real deal. Ask, hey, do you guys need any photos done? I'd be happy to take them right now or I can come back when a more convenient time is available. They'll probably say no, but a lot of times, one out of 10 times, they'll say yes. And that is, that is all you need. That is all you need because uh, once you start having a portfolio built up, uh, more mom and pop shops will want you and yeah it comes back to dealing with rejection you're gonna get rejected that's just that's there's no way around it people are gonna say no to you especially with these cold calls uh, so unexpected you know you have to be able to deal with rejection but once you finally get that one yes it, it, it's it's amazing because you're finally earning money you finally got said yes to it 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 really it makes you feel good I'll say it just makes you feel good it makes all the struggle worth it um, yeah and it's very easy and very low stress you know, you're just sitting there taking photos. Uh, and I had a friend who did this and he even got to try the free desserts. He got to try the desserts that he was taking for free and he also got a full dinner for free on top of his already $100 an hour, which is really cool. That's basically the three ideas. And then I wanna wrap it up by saying, and I wanna wrap it up by saying, once you build a web of connections, it's super easy to get more and more people because once you know one person, you technically know two or three because that one person may say, hey, I got my profile for LinkedIn done by Parker. You know, you should really have yours done too. Uh, here's his business card or here's his Instagram contact him and yeah once you start taking more and more photos of people then your kind of clientele base really starts to grow and that's when you really start making the money other than that I just want to say it may seem daunting at first starting up a business you know making this website calling people asking if they need their photos done but you really have to have that drive and energy to do this and I really really think that if you can get past rejection, you'll make it so far in this business, it's really easy. I just wanted to share these tips and tricks and ideas with y'all. I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at photos.from.parker, photos from Parker, and I will see y'all later. Peace out. Bye.